this week we drew art inspired by random soap bubbles at the car wash. <laughs> what even is this video? <laughs> I couldn't figure out what to call this video. Just, <laughs> you haven't heard of that trend where people go to the car wash and they take pictures of the soap bubbles and they draw, draw it. That's not a trend. It's not trending. <laughs> it's just like clouds, except it's bubbles. Oh, you gave them faces. Yeah. So we went to the car wash. Every time we go to the car wash, I think that the soap bubbles make the funnest shapes on the car window. So I decided, obviously we needed to art with those fun shapes. So that's what we did. I really like the car wash. I like the lights and the bubbles and the spinny things. The spinny things are fun. So here are the images that were taken out of the video that have the good shapes and colors. And this is mine. And I looked at the water droplets and saw dancers. So I went in actually with Photoshop and I Photoshopped more drops to make them more dancery. <laughs> So you guys drew on top of the images, but I went through and I photoshopped just the image itself to make it so that it looked like the water drops while we were in the car wash it looked like the dancers automatically just happened. So I was just taking different parts of the image and making them into dancers. So there was a big fat juicy drop and I used it to do the head and the bun and the ear. I used one of the kind of wider drips for feet. I've got some fluffy shapes that I cut out to be the tutus and I found uh, one of the drips that particularly looked like a hand and used it for the hands. But I think already the drops looked like dancers. Not sure how I feel about the kind of uncanny valley. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it turned out. I think that the dancers show up just enough where you don't see them immediately, but once you see them, they're very obvious and fun. I cropped in the image, I gave it the white framework so that the dancers, the bottom one was already kind of spilling out of the bottom, so I made the side one spill out. And I think I like it. <laughs> what do you think? That they're leaping out of the picture? <laughs> they're leaping ballerinas. Okay, so I completely finished drawing my thing and then went to stop recording and it didn't record. I was in the room and you started it recording. You went to the page and you hit the thing. Maybe you missed it. Like missed it by a pixel or Pic something. <laughs> missed it by a pixel. I think it's funny that you chose the, the image that I put the crying face on. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw this one and thought that it looked kind of like a cave. It totally looks like a cave. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna draw some people going through the cave. So I just put these really simple characters into the cave and it's cute. I like it. This one's you. <laughs> I like it too. It reminds me of the cave that I did from the bug parts <gasps> yeah. back, back in the day. I think I yeah. was unintentionally inspired by that. By a cave. Yeah. Cave a cave. I like the little sitting one. She cute. This is me doing another one. It's kind of just like a sad, sad face. Mm -hmm. This was the response to discovering that the recording hadn't worked. I like the hands. It's definitely a, oh no, that's, like a, that's what those hands say. They say, oh. <gasps> So you saw these two images. Mm -hmm. I saw a spooky forest, and when you turn this one upside down, it looks like grass. 
I was going to put a ferret in the grass, but I also wanted to do the spooky forest. And I was trying to do the ferret in the grass, but the grass looked like it was really zoomed in. So I would either have to do the ferret really big. Ferret eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> ferret nose. <laughs> or I would have to do a ferret that got shrunk. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the ferret. <laughs> So you took the grass and you like put it at the bottom of the spooky forest so that I could put the ferrets in the spooky forest with the grass. Yeah. And this is you sketching. <laughs> this tiny head. What is that even? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, a, I did a quick sketch because you got stuck on the shape. Sometimes you get stuck and you just need a little bit of, of help. But I like how you drew over the top of it and made everything cuter and better. So, it's like a ferret concert <laughs> uh -huh. in a spooky forest. <laughs> of course. Makes perfect sense. And Blue Bowtie Ferret is the one who's singing in the concert. And the ferret in the front of the audience is like a big fan uh -huh. of the Blue Bowtie Ferret. So he's got, you know, lots of sparkliness. Love his and, eyes. And the one that's just like chilling with his eyes closed just came for the snacks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So who knew that ferret concerts in spooky forests have great snacks? Mm -hmm. What kind of snacks do they have? Ferret food. <laughs> I don't know. Ice cream? No. Chocolate chip cookies. I don't know what ferrets eat. Yeah, I don't know either. Probably not chocolate chip cookies. So now I'm coloring, and the girl that I'm coloring right now came because the music is good and, you know, stuff. <laughs> the music is good and stuff? Yeah, and also her friend is the one that really likes it. I love how the singing ferret has stars on his bow tie. He's so fancy. I think it's because he's a star. They turned out absolutely adorable. Right? 